What is up everybody, Rod J, back in the house. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Gonna share another beer with you here on the Beer Channel. And this is gonna be one I picked up from one of my locations. And it's for the Flying Dog Nuclear Smile. This is a limited release. So if you happen to see this out there now, you can pick it up, 10% ABV, Hazy Double IPA. So Flying Dog, of course, out of Maryland. They actually put two dates on here, which is nice. So this is actually best by 112.23. They put it on the bottom, and then they also put it here on the side as far as what they recommend drinking it by. So you can never have too much dating for sure. Let's crack it open and get it into a glass and check out this Hazy Double IPA. See how this one actually delivers. Got that orange, amber color, sunset type color as usual. And you know to expect that. There you go right there. A little more of a darker tone going up the glass than from the bottom. Head, you're looking at a third of a finger or so maybe, so it doesn't last long. Now when I hold it up, that's a nice carbonation taking place towards the bottom part. That hopefully comes through here on the camera that you can check out as well. I will tell you with this glass though, it is etched on the bottom. So it actually works out well because that actually causes more of the carbonation to stir up. So I don't know if you'll get that in all the glasses, but these are actually pretty cool with being able to do that. You get sweetness on the nose from the aroma. A little bit of that maltiness coming through. A little bit of an undertone of a Caramel toffee type sweetness, so to speak. You definitely get that underlying pinning effect that you feel. I'm not picking up too much on any of the hoppiness or bitterness. A little bit of a feel like an orange peel on the nose though. Taste wise. Mm. It goes down rather easily. It does have that syrupy feel. To me with the beer here, you do get that kind of texture in play. Definitely feel it on the tongue. A little bit of a weight to it, so kind of a medium to fuller body with the beer itself. You get that sweetness coming through as well and the taste from the, uh, the malts. You get a decent sting to the tongue from the carbonation when you hold it. Pick up a little bit of that Booziness also coming through. Not a huge mouthfeel that you get with this one here, but you do get that sweetness to the front of the tongue. I get some of that in the cheek area. I'm getting somewhat of an astringency as well. It's, it's not bad. It's decent. It's just, I wouldn't say it blows me away in any type of uh, regard. I think it's just a beer that would definitely get you where you want to go if you're looking to get lit. <laughs> this one at 10% ABV, you can have a few of these, I think you'll be okay. Um, not a huge standout, but decent enough that I would say give it a go. Flying Dog got some really good beers. So again, it's hard for every brewery to hit you with everything they actually put out. You know, you're gonna tend to find some that might not be uh, ones you prefer. Overall, decent enough. In my mind when I'm drinking this, I almost feel like it's just like a pith of sweetness squeezed into the beer. It uh, can be a, maybe a little over sweet than what I would actually want it to be, but uh, Nuclear Smile Hazy Double IPA, you do get the juiciness. So if you've had this, let me know what you thought of it by leaving a comment in the comment section. Interested to see what you guys think. Again, limited release, so if you want to pick it up, Pick it up now if you see it. Don't know how long it'll be out there. Thanks for checking out this video. Look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers out there. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on, drink beer, live hoppily. Cheers, everybody.